you have seen my Vegas content. The most heroic Vegas trip ever, 30 days in Las Vegas, has ended. You've seen the hotels, the room tours, the drinks, the restaurants, the experiences. But you haven't seen the behind the scenes footage. You know, what is it like to jump on a plane and to live in Vegas for a month? To jump from hotel to hotel, nine different hotels, and to check out the restaurants, the drinks, and the people. What is that like? I wanted to kind of make this little mini vlog series and check in um, on a daily basis just to give you you know, some personal elements, um, some experiences, a little behind the scenes stuff. Um, I wanna go into like some personal details about my life. I'm gonna share some crazy Vegas stories uh, that I've never shared with you before. Um, it's really gonna be kind of like a potpourri. You know, I kind of have some things that I know I wanna tell you about. You know, for example, like that one time I flooded my Vegas hotel room, <laughs> true story. And, uh, you know, there's some other fun stories as well. Like that one time I pretended to be vegan to go on a date. If you know me, I'm definitely not vegan. And that was a really funny and interesting experience. I'm going to tell you about that. But also some other stuff hasn't happened yet. Um, you know, a lot of the things I'm probably going to talk about haven't transpired yet. So I have no idea what I'm going to tell you. But I want to bring you along for this adventure and this experience in case you're ever interested in coming to Vegas for 30 days or in case you're generally curious about what it's like to live this life in Vegas or any other city um, I'm gonna kind of do like a mini vlog so my intention is to log in with you every morning or afternoon and just kind of give you some details and I'm gonna try not to be redundant because you've seen the restaurants you've seen the reviews you've seen the room tours my goal again is to kind of give you like the behind the scenes footage and to give you different takes and really give you kind of more of a personal side of me, my travels, and my experiences. So if you follow the channel, you know that this is not my first soiree in Vegas. Um, I've been coming here for years. And the majority of my time spent on in Vegas has been off the channel. Although I have had some pretty long stints in Vegas on the channel. Of course, you remember my 26 day Vegas adventure, which I dubbed the most epic Vegas trip ever. And then one week later, I flew back for another 22 days, which I dubbed the most legendary Vegas trip ever. This 30 day trip, I'm dubbing the most heroic Vegas trip ever. I like branding my trips. And I gotta say, although it may not be as luxurious um, as my previous two trips, at least on paper, I am most excited about this string of hotels. I'm gonna visit hotels for the most part that I haven't visited yet. And the ones that I have visited um, are either remodeled or they offer something different. So I'm at the Golden Nugget right now, and then I'm off to Bellagio. And I swore I was never going back to the Bellagio until they remodeled it. They remodeled it, so I'm going back. I'm gonna do MGM Grand again. I didn't really get to unlock that property the way I liked last time I was there, so I can't wait to go to see that. Luxor, a lot of you have been asking about that. I'm going. Flamingo, that is one of my most requested videos. I'm going to the Flamingo. I'm gonna do the Link aka the people's champ uh, mandalay bay which we have not seen yet on the channel and then i'm going to finish at virgin so although these might not be you know the win and the palazzos and the arias and the cosmos going into this trip i am the most excited to be in vegas than i ever have been and that leads me into another topic i have to say this i really feel at home in vegas I really get a sense of calmness and comfort and its natural state. And that sounds weird because Vegas is really antithetical to those words. Vegas is not a calm place. Vegas is like, at least the strip, is not a place you would like think is homey. Um, it really isn't like a very soothing place to be. But what I mean is that I got off the plane and I, although I was here over last kind of Christmas period and I did my off season content, I haven't really been here for a little bit. And I got off the plane and I took the tram and I got my luggage and I jumped into Uber and I got here and I really feel at home. Like I really do have a special connection to the city and this city and I go back and forth. Obviously I love it, I keep on coming back. I really enjoy making this content, but it does get on my nerves sometimes. And it's probably just me because the city's always the same. But I gotta say, I get just a sense of comfort that I don't get when I get off the plane in Putacana. I get a sense of like hominess that I don't get when I get off the plane in Cancun. I get a little bit of the sense in London and London's a very special city to me. And I think it's time I start putting Vegas 
in the top tiers of cities that are the most important to me. So this is just my introductory video. I'm gonna lay the groundwork for you so you can kind of get a framework of what to expect in these next 29 videos. They're gonna be a lot of fun. Trust me, there's some stories that you're definitely gonna to wanna to hear. And again, who knows what's going to happen over these 29 days. I don't even know what I'm gonna talk about for the most part. Uh, but I do wanna lay out some goals very quickly. Number one, only one meal a day. Oh man, one meal a day. I was very unhappy with my appearance and my diet during my last Putacana trip. Those all-inclusives will do that to you. And I definitely enjoyed eating. I'm no stranger to large portions of food, but it got a little out of hand at the end. And I talked about going home and uh, working out and dieting crazy, which I did. And like, I'm super happy with like my state right now. And I don't wanna throw that away. So only one meal a day. Also, I think that's going to cut down um, on expenses big time. You know, like if I eat like a big lunch or a big breakfast, which I'm gonna get into in a second, you know, not only are those like thousands of excess calories a day, it's also, I mean, like almost $100 a day, if not more of food intake. And if I could save over 100 or $200 a day on food intake, you know, that's $6,000 over the course of 30 days. Sometimes you don't think about it like $50 here, or $100 here. If you're in Vegas for just two or three or four days, you can kind of just be a bit more flexible with your budget. But if it's $100 here, or $50 here over like the course of a month, I mean, that could be three, four, five, six thousand dollars $6,000. So I definitely only want to eat one meal a day. And by doing that, uh, I'm going to be able to really indulge in my dinners. I'm going to bring you some extravagant and indulgent dinners, which of course I'm looking forward to. And then also it's going to cut down on my calories and my overall budget. So that's going to be great. Also, no Starbucks. Okay, I'm off Starbucks. I haven't had any caffeine for probably 60 days and I feel phenomenal. I still enjoy like the morning ritual and the morning routine of just going to Starbucks and getting a hot drink, even if it's decaf. I just love the ceremony of just going to Starbucks. But if you know me, and if you've seen any of my content, you know that I can't walk out of Starbucks without spending $40. I just can't do it because I go there and I get my uh, venti skinny vanilla latte. Then I get a couple orders of egg white bites and then I get a couple breakfast sandwiches every single time. I mean, I've had some Starbucks bills on the channel that have been over like 50, $60 which is absurd. And uh, if I do that every morning, it's just it's just plain stupid. So I'm swearing myself off of Starbucks. I'm not gonna miss those calories. I'm certainly not gonna miss the amount of money that I spend when I go. All right, so a few other goals. I wanna live every day to its fullest, but that means living every day in moderation. You know, I've done this before when I have a 4 a.m. night or a 6 a.m. night. It really just detracts and takes away from the day or days after. So I really wanna have as much fun as possible, but moderation, moderation, moderation. Like definitely no more going out on my on the night before checkout. Sometimes my best nights are the night before checkout. And I don't know why I do that to myself. It just happens sometimes. Like somebody will call me or I'll meet someone and we'll go out. I don't know why I punish myself like that because I'll get home early morning, <laughs> you know, like one, two, three, four, who knows. And then I have to get up, pack my 140 pounds of luggage in my suitcases. I have to do my wrap up video. Then I have to leave, check into a hotel, do that room tour, do that intro, and then hit the ground running. So definitely no more going out the evening before checkout day. Other than that, at the risk of sounding woke or guru-esque, I really just wanna be present and just enjoy this experience. Um, sometimes I can take these trips for granted and I've learned that tomorrow is not guaranteed. I mean, I've known that for a while, but I mean, I've, I've really learned that recently that tomorrow is not guaranteed. I really just wanna live in the moment and be present. I don't wanna stress out too much about my schedule or my workload or the amount of editing I wanna do. Those are things that are always going to be there. So this is a really special trip. It's 30 days in Vegas. I'm literally living in Vegas for a month and I really wanna appreciate it and have the most fun possible.